Okay, so you're planning to buy an MV8800 or 8000. Great, awesome choice. Still in 2022, it's a great choice to choose an MV. But yeah, the units are pretty old already. Well, old for gear, they're old. Luckily, you can do some tests before buying the MV. In this video, I will show you how to do it. Just some simple examples. There are more tests to do, but just some few tests you can do when you are going to buy a second hand or third hand MV. Most important thing is to hold menu F3 and turn it on. Let's take a look right now. So I said before, hold menu plus F3 and turn the unit on to get in test mode. The system starts automatically and this is the list with all the test options and we start with device auto check this will take some time that's the reason why it's fast forward but after some time we get the results and in this case all is okay we see that 512 mb is installed also a cf card is installed and very nice a dvd cdrw we go to the next test this is a screen test this is the built-in lcd screen and this is the vga screen we do another test this is the ad test so we have to test all the sliders and all the knobs and you have to open up and close them completely as you can see over here this is for the sliders This is the volume control and also the C knobs are controlled from left to right and then they give an OK if all is OK. We go to a next test and this is the drive test and for the drive test you need an empty CDR. You insert the CD in the drive and then you do burn drive. Well you do a test. Also, this takes some time, but in the end, yes, all is okay. Also, a very important test is to test all the pads, and there are two types of tests. You got the soft press test and the hard hit test. Then also important is to check all the buttons if they are working and the encoder from left to right and it gives an OK. So we did some tests and it looks good so you can buy your MV right now but be quick because prices are rising prices are rising and I want to say don't pay too much but the unit is fantastic so now let's reboot and I will give you a small quick tip to start immediately with your MV. Check it out. So after doing the test we do a reboot and the system starts automatically again. Now press F5 to select project. But instead of selecting a project you can create a new project to start with a clean sheet. and. In this case, the MV starts immediately. Guys, this was a quick video about doing some tests before you buy a second or third hand MV to make sure that you can enjoy this beautiful unit. Perhaps you have to do some modifications. Could be, no problem at all. Check out my website, worldwideweb.themediamaniac.com or go to our community, the forum, mvplanet.com. Please subscribe to my channel for more videos. I would appreciate that and see you in a next video. Thank you guys. Have a good one.